right, here we go. I am completely gonna blow my face off on this one. Blowing my mouth off. This is gonna make some of you mad, but that's what it's all here for. I have been seeing something going on lately that uh, is really drying out my glue. And you see a lot on the Facebook groups and everybody's posting. Everybody's really so happy that Walmart is now selling model car kits again. Model kits, what, I don't know. I, I don't pay attention, I don't do Walmart. But um, you all think this is wonderful. It's great, you're getting, you're getting your model kits. You don't have to order online, which is fantastic because you don't have a local model ho hobby shop. You get them really cheap at Walmart because Walmart can sell shit cheap. Everybody has seen the trend over the past few years with Walmart coming in and absolutely crushing all mom and pop stores of every kind, all right? but. What we all go on about is the losing of our hobby shops, and many of you have. And I understand you go, but Luca, you have a hobby shop, a couple of them right down the street. So, you know, I'm not that fortunate, so I've got to have Walmart, and I've got to use the internets to order it. I have no choice. You're mean. No, I understand. I, I am very grateful that I have a hobby shop, or two of them right down the street from me. I pass one to go to my favorite. I understand that. That sucks that many of you don't. Many of you do. But there's a reason why you don't. Because there was a time everybody talks about how you all had a model shop down the street, a hobby shop. You went and bought your model cars. And then everybody wanted to do the internet thing because you could get it cheaper. And those damn hobby shop owners, how dare they sell kits for what they are asking. And they're just, they're the ones who are ruining the hobby. And thank goodness for the almighty Walmart. Because now they're selling kits for really cheap and everybody's happy. Well... You know, you see it. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not personally attacking anybody, but I got to view my opinion on this. Yes, if I lived, and I have, if I lived somewhere that I could not get my model kits, but on the internet, that's all I could do. I didn't have a hobby shop. That would be a bummer. But you know what? If you do have a hobby shop, don't go to Walmart and buy your models. I know you got to save money and you, you know, you, you're on in fixed income, whatever. I've heard it all. But then fine. Do not complain anymore about hobby shops closing down. You can't support Walmart and buying their kits and then be bummed that hobby shops are closing down. You can't because you're talking out of both sides of your mouth. Me, I put my money where my mouth is. I've got two Walmarts I can go. They're just as close as the two hobby shops I can go to. And I will go spend more money. It's me. I'm not a guy loaded. Don't even say that I get them for free. I know there's people that claim I get my kits for free. Andy gives me a deal. Andy don't give me a deal. You're going to give me a good deal, right? No, I'm not. Okay. He gives me a deal he gives everybody because he actually does reduce his prices more than most hobby shops do. He already does give a discount, but he's not as cheap as Walmart. You want to know why? Because he's a small operation. He doesn't have the buying power. Don't you understand how it works? Walmart's able to sell them low because they, they can afford making a couple of bucks off a kit where a hobby shop has to make, you know, they got to at least make five or 10 bucks a kit. They have to, they, they have to. Walmart has huge purchasing power. They get the stuff way cheaper. That's why I, I hate it when I see certain individuals and, and entities get precedence by some of the model companies and we already went over that. I'm not going to open up that can of worms. I was criticized for that. I don't care. I still feel the same way. Love those model companies I mentioned. I love what they're doing, but please think about it. Please stop turning your back on the little hobby shops. We're going to lose all of them. What ones are left? And I know you guys that don't have one probably don't really care, and your only choice is go to Walmart. I get it. That's all great. But if you have a choice, pay some extra dollars to keep your hobby shop open because you like going there. And you know how many hobby shop guys? I know there's some of you that watch that aren't hobby shop owners anymore because of this. These guys love to come into your shop, sit around and BS about things and how they got they don't even think and they're telling the hobby shop owner you know i picked this up for this much over there and walmart's selling these kits now man be a little courteous to the guy there at the at the hobby shop that happens but also you know oh my god please think about what you're saying think about what you're doing you you want you want your little hangout and you go and you hang out there and you might buy a bottle of glue you might buy a bottle of paint a piece of sandpaper, a sanding stick, whatever. They make their money off of selling the kits, and they make their money off all the ancillary stuff, too. But, you know, you want your hobby shop that you like to hang out. Well, guess what? Everything costs money. So why don't you buy a kit from the guy, too? Because, you know what? You walking in the store just to hang out and say hi, and he's going to be nice to you, and that's all great. 
thank you very much for coming in and enjoying a place that I, I as a as a hobby shop owner, Mr. Hobby Shop owner here, thanks for coming into my store that I pay for the lights and the air conditioning and all the stuff and keeping the shelves filled and a nice place for you to hang out and meet with your buddies. Even some of them, you know, when it, we used to live in a normal world, would have a spot for you to have a, your, your model club and I'll meet. That's all great. Buy your kits from that dude. Pay a little bit more. Look at it as you got to pay a fee to have that place to go to. You have to. You can't expect this guy to stay open and always be there. And I always loved hanging out at the hobby shop, but now he's gone. He closed down. You know, so I'm buying my kits from Walmart. It's cool. I get this great deal. I don't have my hobby shop to hang out at. Well, you know, it's cool to hang out at a hobby shop, but it ain't a hangout. It's also a place of business. So throw them a bone here and then with that being said you want to keep your hobby shops alive in a place to hang out because you know what hobby shops are fun to hang out at and you get to be friends with the owner most owners they're pretty cool about that they like you guys hanging out but you know come on you know don't uh, just hang out and never buy nothing and then talk about how you got it on uh, online for a really good deal or walmart sell them and then hobby lobby's got their 40 percent coupon that is great i like saving money too but you know, I'll pay the little extra, the more extra. I don't get my kits for free. I don't get them handed to me. I pay full price for them because I want my favorite hobby shop to be there 10 years from now, 20 years from now. I would like them to be there. So I'm going to keep them alive as much as possible. And for you guys that lost out and you have to go to Walmart, you have to do the internet. I understand, man. I get it. I'm not condemning you but please understand this isn't a great thing happening you know everybody you know it's all about cash for everyone you don't look at the big picture nobody's trying to screw anybody over as far as at a hobby shop how much those you know they're going for 27 bucks over at the hobby shop but you can buy the same kit over at walmart for 19 bucks walmart's the hero no man they're trying to shut all the small businesses down and small businesses are already having a hard problem right now anyways and pretty soon walmart and amazon will own everything and the watch the prices go up then when they own everything and we have to go to walmart and we have to go to amazon to buy all our needs i had to rant this i had to it's just i keep seeing look at what's at my local walmart today that is so cool no, it's not cool man it's a it's a bad underlining thing i'm not gonna get political on here it's just i wanted to vent about this i just keep seeing it i see it on the lucas c model car hobby headquarters i don't want to tell anybody they can't post anything i'm never going to delete you for posting posting about oh look what i found at walmart i don't have a problem with that you, you post it wherever you want i don't care i'm just telling you how i feel about it i don't like it i don't think it's right with, with the underlying thing that's happening you know uh and it's not just in model cars it's everything and i'm you know what i was looking for something for my grandson that when my daughter was a little girl to find these things I could go anywhere and get them. I, you know, I went to a lot of places that don't exist anymore. I wanted this one particular thing. I couldn't get it ordered online, and I ended up having to go to Walmart this Christmas to purchase this thing for my grandson. And it really bummed me out. That's the only place I could buy it at. And sometimes I'm forced to it. I really, really am one. And I'm going to admit, yes, I have bought some things from Walmart, but I work my butt off to really not bother with that place i really i'm not saying i boycott walmart i just try not to use them when i don't have to and i don't chase the deals i did it out of convenience i didn't care about the price and i don't want anybody saying that you guys think i'm some rich guy i am not i am a clerk at a freaking convenience store that's what i do for a living i'm no dude that is shelling out or you know getting a bunch of money it might look like it, but I, I don't. I just try to do things smart. I am more into convenience. Yes, I'll pay for convenience, and I will pay more for a better product. And I also will pay more to keep something alive that I want to stay alive. And I am against something that's become a big, giant monster that's eating up the things that I loved all my life. I don't have it anymore. I have the one. I'm going to protect it. For as long as I can. Yeah, well, that's my that's my take on it all. Slam me if you want. Go ahead if you want to see what's at Walmart and you go, oh, look at this cool, here's my Walmart haul, here's my other places haul, whatever. Yeah, I don't care. You know, post them on my group, Lucas C's Model Car Hobby Headquarters Facebook group. It's it's model cars. That's what the thing's about. I don't care. It, it's cool. You know my opinion about it. I'm not gonna downplay you for it. 
I'm just voicing my opinion here, guys. I'm just voicing my opinion. It's a little nerve wracking to me. It's not your guys' fault. I get it. I want to find a good deal on a on a model car. I'd be half tempted, maybe. I have gone to Walmart. I've walked right by the freaking models. I don't care. Well, I can get that over at Andy. It's the principal. He's got to make a living. He's got to, and I want his store to stay open. So I've always made a point of buying 99.9% .9 of my model purchases are there. I usually do online stuff when I absolutely can't get it from him. <sighs> yes, he's my buddy. Yes, I support him. No, I'm not his shill. Every, I, get, I get all that from all you guys. You think he's handing me stuff. No, that dude does not make me a freaking deal. And I don't care. I want him to stay open. That's my deal. Him staying open is my price of admission. Why don't you all feel that way if you still have a hobby shop? If you still have a hobby shop to go to, I'm telling you, go in there, tell that dude who's working his butt off to keep his business alive and going for him and his family and keeping food on the table. Go in there and thank him. Go in there and buy everything you can from him and pay 10 or $20 or more. I, I know that sounds like a lot, but you know what? Just do it. At least half your purchases do it cut down your purchases at the cheap places going for the cheap deal from the big box guys who really could care less about you because you know what that dude cares about you walking into his store he truly appreciates you the walmart clerk could give a crap the walmart manager could give a crap walmart mr walmart the big mr walmart he doesn't give a crap okay I, i'm <laughs> I'm winded. I'm done with this one. That's how it is. And uh, you know what? You want to support the channel? Buy my crap at the Teespring store. And I want to thank these dudes. My producers. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. So, you know, blast me away. This is my controversial uh, video for the month, I guess. Or maybe I'll have some more. I just wanted to blow my face off about that. I Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We've got some cool model car content coming up. And we've got more Lucas builds, more Lucas unbuilds. And we've got other great cool stuff. We're going to look at some more old classic scale autos. We're going to look at some more Lucas kits. You know, some old vintage kits. I'm also... You know, reading it, what everybody wants to see me do. So we're going to try to do that. And we got some other things happening. So I want to thank you guys for listening. I'm going to go lay down for a while. Holy cow. No, actually, I'm going over to Andy's. I got some kits to go buy. So we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Go build model cars. Because they're freaking fun. So. Ooh, this got rough. Okay, so, you know. All right, here. This is the. Making my kitty purr. You're making my kitty purr. It's really drying my paint. It's really cracking my paint. It's really smudging my clear. Really smudging my windshield. It's really slim. It's really smudging my clear. It's really crazing my clear. It's really smudging my windshield. Yeah, I got tons of them now, huh? Ba -ba -la! Done.